Hello RCW fans and welcome to another edition of the RCW Internet Show. We are here at the RCW Gym where we are going to train the superstars of tomorrow. What a great event it was just over a week ago as it was Go For The Gold. Let's take a look at the results of that big event. Go For The Gold started off a controversy. <laughs> The Mr. Collar did show up and change the complexion of the entire event. You know, I don't know if anybody believes in ghosts, but if you don't, you really should, because... Ha 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 Hello, RCW! Hello, Brandon Oliver! What's the matter? Have you seen a ghost? Didn't you get my calls all week? <laughs> I brought a weapon. <laughs> I brought a weapon. You see, before you retook control of Reinagle Championship Wrestling, before you sucker punched me and took back control of Reinagle Championship Wrestling, my little document made a legal document. So here, who's going to get a title fight because of my legality and my brilliance, Joey Spectre. Hey, Spectre. You were my protege. You were the man. Now is your chance. Go get him, young man. <laughs> so with that announcement, Sorensen was out, Spectre was in, but onto the show. Andy Dalton made his way out to the ring, challenged anybody instead of Jax, and out came the entertainer Blair Spikes. And it was a highly competitive matchup. Blair Spikes, the entertainer, taken to the air. However, Andy Dalton trying to break the losing streak turned the tide of the match. It was back and forth. However, in the very end, the entertainer Blair Spikes was too much for Dalton and the streak continued for the self-proclaimed RCW legend. Meanwhile, a newcomer to RCW named Nemesis faced Amy and Rios. It was a terrific contest. About four or five minutes of solid action until out came the big newcomer to RCW, Jack Stane, who pinned both competitors in a match. Then the big time players, Scott McKenzie and Danny Matthews, with their new attitude of Rudy Russo, took on Jojo Bravo, Darcy Drake, and Andromeda, along with Major Mike. And I tell you what, it was a fantastic entrance for Andromeda. Jojo Bravo and Darcy and it was an incredible six person match. Darcy got in some shots. Jojo Bravo and Andromeda with beautiful double team maneuvers but however the big time players were able to overcome the onslaught along with Rudy Russo. They tried to wear down Jojo Bravo and take away the speed advantage. However a mistiming turned the tide and Jojo and Andromeda and Darcy were able to come back. Big time players made a last second attempt. The action spilled to the outside. However, in the end, it was the circus team of El Mamacito, Jojo Bravo, and Darcy with the win. After the match, Rudy Russo took his frustrations out on Alex Moroso, the referee. And I tell you what, on July 3rd, it's going to be Alex versus Rudy Russo. Then it was Paloma against Trina Michaels and the ultimate showdown of RCW women. And I tell you what, it started out with the entrance of Lady Fantasy. And she was alone as she was with Joey Specter. And then out came the lovely Trina, escorted by Major Mike. It began with an arm wrestling contest. And due to some chicanery from Specter, Lady Fantasy was the winner. Then, in a dance contest, Trina was the easy victor. And then in the kissing contest, fans were blindfolded and the kissing began. However, it was cut short as Lady Fantasy and Trina got into a cat fight rolling all around. Then, a third competitor entered. It was El Mamacito and Andromeda. Kisses all around and it was ruled as a draw between all three ladies. Trina Michaels was not done with Lady Fantasy. Then it was for the Tag Team Championship. The Texas Hitmen were scheduled to face the Collins Brothers. They didn't show up. Instead, it's Brian Sorensen and his partner, Jack Stane. Jack started off the match displaying his power along with Sorensen's beautiful drop kicks, and they were well ahead. 
Then the hitmen focused their attack on Ryan Sorensen and his arm, literally wrapping the shoulder around the ring post, coming off the ropes with an elbow. However, Jax came in, turned the tide, and cleaned house. And just when it looked like all the things were going their way, Sorensen with a dive to the outside, the big time players, the self-proclaimed real RCW Tag Team Champions tried to interfere, it backfired on the Hitman, and we have new RCW Tag Team Champions, Sorensen and Jax, and it's going to be an incredible tag team reign. Then it was on to the fans bring the weapons match. Wheezy Woo versus Joey Spectre along with Lady Fantasy, Seiko Delico Jr. and the return of the RCW champion, the Extreme Aztec Scam 13, who is detained by Border Patrol thanks to a bribe from Seiko Delico Jr. last show. It was a four-way, and believe me when I say this, it was every man for himself as each competitor tried to become the RCW champion. It was a high-flying, hard-hitting match that even saw Seiko and Scam go at it for a second. Then the fans' weapons got involved. There you see the bowling ball from Wheezy Woo right into Joey Spectre. And I tell you what, it's going to be hard for the Super Shot to have a family. There you see the watermelon crushing the head of Scam 13, the brawl between Seiko and Scam was incredible. It raged all over the building as they used all of the objects that the fans brought to the event. It was back and forth. It was intense and this rivalry will hopefully come to a head on July 3rd. Paloma disrobing, causing the distraction and therefore Spectre is a new RCW champion. Trina couldn't take any more. She got in the ring and pummeled Lady Fantasy all over the ring it was incredible and still scam and seco brawled then specter heard the announcement that his first title defense will take place on july 3rd declaration of champions our next event as i pointed out earlier the rcw gym we are here and let's take a look at the special peak of the rcw gym we're going to train the superstars of tomorrow Folks, you don't want to miss out on this if you want to be a professional wrestler or have anything to do in the wrestling business. This is the place to be, including guest trainer, the AAA and TNA superstar, the Supermax Hernandez, along with all the great stars of RCW. For more information, visit us online at rcw-wrestling.com or call area code 210-842-8398.